my light is now fixed. Yay. As you can see, this is my masterful electrical work here. <laughs> um, it works though, so whatever. And it's disconnectable in case I ever need to replace this, this socket again. Uh, I could preemptively do it to all of them, but I don't think that's necessary. I still have a pack and I know how to do it now. So that's great. And I've also got a spare socket in case we run into another issue. So this light fixture, even though it's a unicorn, it should be viable for you know the next few years. Unless for some reason the ballast goes bad, then I'm done for completely because they don't have these ballasts anymore. I already checked. I was going to start building these lights and offering them for sale, but no chance. This is what the tank looks like right now. Noise in the background is a fan. I have slightly overdone it with the phosphate uh, at one point. It's back down now, but I need to do a water change everywhere where there used to be hair algae. It is just exploded in growth, so I'm going to have to scrub all that off. Not a huge task, but I need snails so bad so that they can keep this stuff managed. You can see over here where I scraped the glass. This guy over here is not dying, so that's good. Filters need to be cleaned very badly. cleaning to do on the tank so uh, I will get it done and it will look much better and we'll do a water change and be back to normal. some top down it's nice to be able to see the corals their colors are usually a little bit nicer from top down it just gives a different perspective it really helps to see what the pattern is.
I guess I haven't shown you the algae in a while either, but um, it's grown pretty well. It still has some die off here and there, but I think it's just because my phosphate levels aren't super consistent. But uh, there's new growth, and as you see, it's gotten longer, growing all the way up there. Uh, the prolifera seems to be taking a back seat to the <laughs> Paspaloides, which is interesting. But as soon as I get snails, I'll be able to uh, increase my phosphate level because I won't have to worry too much about nuisance algae cropping up. I haven't taken a video in a very long time because everything's just kind of bleh. <laughs> I got a cyanobacteria problem. Uh, I've got a lot of snails still alive, which is good, and they've clean they've really cleaned up like a lot, as you can tell. Um, corals aren't looking too unhealthy. Yeah, they're not looking horrible, but they're not looking super great. The lights just came on not too long ago, so that's got a little bit to do with it, I'm sure. I moved a lot of corals over to this tank because they really seem to like the light and open up really well. So um, I see a light change in the future, but as you see, I've got a lot of cyanobacteria and it started to get stringy and billow around. It's a little bit better than it was. In the past, I've just been able to fight cyanobacteria with water changes. So that's what I'm gonna do. We'll try to just do water changes uh, until it doesn't work, I guess. Trying to have patience, but I am a little bit impatient about it. However, since it is going in the right direction, I'll just keep doing water changes alone and see what that does. I am continuing to feed during this time because some of the corals, like my acan right here, is pretty retracted. Now, I think part of that is because I've got a sponge growing on it and I'm not entirely sure how to remove that. Tried to scrub it, but I kind of tore the skin on the A-can, so not entirely sure how to get rid of that. Some sponges you can kill just by pulling them out of water, but that did not work with this one. Anyway, I'm getting some good colors out of some of my corals, and I just need to keep fighting this little problem. Try not to overreact. We shall see how it goes, as usual. Other than that, nothing's really changed. I don't have any new corals, really. My goniopora is really unhappy. Look at that. Uh, looks so terrible. <laughs> it used to extend so far, and now it just doesn't. So, it's not receding. So, uh, I'm just going to see if I can feed it feed the heck out of it and see if I can bring it back to full extension. But the zoanthids are generally doing pretty well. Hey everyone. Uh, it's been a while since I did an update, a serious one. Uh, I'll probably do a longer form one tomorrow, but I bought a fish tonight. You can see, six line wrasse. First fish that I bought, so... That's cool. He's still alive, so apparently my tank isn't toxic. <laughs> um, I've been doing a blackout to kill this cyanobacteria. It's pretty annoying, but this coral's looking better, so that's making me feel better. This one is not quite so happy, but I really do think the cyanobacteria was releasing some sort of chemical, maybe cyanide. Um, I think, I think it's known to do that. Um, I've been told that my corals will be fine after the blackout. This coral, I'm going to have to dip in hydrogen peroxide so that that sponge dies because it's really encroaching. Um, watched a video on it, so it should be fine. 
a lot of my snails are still alive and doing fine. There's my big trochus snail, the survivor. Oh, and there comes my little six line wrasse. His name is Rascal with a W, of course. I think it's great. <laughs> um, very curious. Anyway, I bought him to eat all these flatworms that I have. So uh, I don't see them now, but I think they like to come up and eat algae and come up near the light. But And here's the other tank. Um, it's come a long way. Uh, it's cleaned up some, and it's got some things I need to clean up still.